Welcome to Darlington, the lady in black. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Reggie. And yes, this is uh, Darlington, as Reggie has mentioned. And uh, starting on pole is uh, Vince Freeze, who uh, has had a very but did, did not run well last week at Bristol Motor Speedway. In fact, he did not finish. He's had a very rough stretch of past few races. Aside from that top five a couple weeks ago at the Daytona Road Course, he's had a pretty rough uh, start, a uh, pretty rough stretch. Uh, Cooper trying to get his second straight top five as he's starting fifth. Pox Cozart uh, actually not too far back in the cut line. Uh, he's actually uh, three points back from... 24 fan who's starting second right now. We'll see how LJ Toledo performs today because she's kind of below the cut line. And then Matt MV and uh, Riley uh, are really the only two that are in the single digits above the cut line. Other than that, uh, Riley Gorse actually has got a 24-point hold uh, for him right now. So not bad. And uh, Nimrod getting a good start as well along with Azriel Dreamer. Zigzagoon trying to get that points fight back going. Uh, they could rebound a little bit. I don't think points leads in the question at the moment, but I could definitely start catching back up. Maybe take uh, third in points from Genji's Con at best, but Genji's starting ahead of them, so we'll see how that goes. And then Space Guide would be one person they are actually tied with in standings right now. And uh, that's really all on that. And again, Vince Free starting pull. A lot of good interesting starters and starting inter interesting positions. So that's interesting and Pretty good. Uh, last week's winner was Anthony McClure. Um, it's the second one of the season for his team. And his team's teammates starting right next to him. Pretty far back in the uh, field. Also starting pretty far back in the field is Frank Chilton. Who is currently second in points. Starting in 38th. And then um, if he were to start and finish here. He would not be able to take the points lead. As it would only be an 8 point gain. From a 15 or yeah 15 point gap between him and Shred, who Shred is starting dead last and has been able to recover good finishes almost every time he started in the back, except for the Daytona Road Course, where they finally had an interesting gap. But we've been watching this points lead very closely, and we'll continue to do so. I, I we'll see if it changes today. I won't I won't count it out. This is Darlington. A lot can happen. 37 laps. It's a lot in the air, and set up should. Uh, the setup for the race should be good, so we should be in for a pretty decently good race. And we got three cars making their debut today. Highest starting of which, Victor Nunez starting 25th. And the number 20, uh, Xfinity Toyota. So we, we now have to two Toyotas in the field once again. Jimmy Starr starting a little bit behind them. But Victor Nunez with a good start in their debut. And then uh, the second best starting of them is uh, Kappa Kapperman. He was starting just a couple spots back in 27th, I do believe. And then starting in 42nd, also in their debut, is a 66 of Marker Leonard. Not to be confused with Marker, who is one of the moderators in the server. Uh, but that is their username. I think it'll be a little, a little bit of trolling going on there, but I can't confirm nor deny. So uh, that has to be, uh, to be determined, I suppose, so. And also, you, you, we do, uh, you may notice that Kappa Kapperman and uh, I think you already see Rubino Gonzalez there in the same shot, have almost identical paint schemes, just different manufacturers, so they're going to be fun to try to depict from each other in the races, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, other than that, that is all I've got. Reggie, you got any more thoughts or conclusions, analysis, whatnot? The only thing I'm worried about is how close are they going to uh, get close to that wall without a hit? Yeah, that is a concern. That, that wall, uh, you got to be careful there. If you're, if not, if you're too careful, uh, you're going to lose a lot of time. If you're not too careful, you're going to lose a lot of time. So uh, you got to find a good balance in that corner. I think it'll. I think they're going to be good in turn one, but we're going to start turning up the heat a little bit as the race goes on. We'll have to see to know for sure. Okay, I got a question for you. All right. How many Darlington strikes are we going to have at the end of this race? Drivers, stop your engines. Better let the command go first. I think we're going to see about half the field at least. I'm going to be dead honest. These guys are going to be racing real aggressive. 
you know the rule. If you ain't got a Darlington stripe, you ain't racing it right. So we'll have to see if that rings true. Vince Freeze starts him off from the green for the first time this season. And uh, Reggie, of course, uh, if you would like to call the green, you're more than welcome. Yeah, the concern is here, don't hit that wall in lap one, because if you do, it could cause a big wreck or cause you a lot of time or both, which you don't want. So, yeah. 37's got to yeah. run, but I think that 11's got the high line advantage. I think I got the drivers mixed yeah. up there. Man, nice push from that 83. Oh, he's going to slide it in deep. Ah. Gets that Darlington stripe on lap two. So does the 37. Do they keep it clean? Yes. So, new leader. Yes. Thunder 24 fan in the 83. Who came into this race just a couple points below the, above the cut line. And now has a decently good sized lead on Cooper, who's looking for their second second place uh, straight second place finish. As he gets into the wall. Zach, I'm gonna say this. I know Vince. I'm gonna be happy. Nimrod, trying to get a run, good run here. Trying to get hey, around Zach. 30. Zach, you hear me? The, what did you say? I'm saying I know Vince. I'm gonna be happy in that Yeah, he is. Uh, he just got in the wall there. Really, drove it in too deep, and he did it again. I think these Dodges are having some issues. Eric Monaco, or not Eric Monaco, Patrick Miller does the same. And uh, Vince Freeze has lost quite a few spots. But as for the battle for second, is heating up. That 83 is not as fast as the 29 or 30, I don't believe, unless he's saving up his stuff. These guys are going to try to pressure him up closer to that wall, get him into it, try to get him up in and slow him down. We'll have to see how that does. For those guys but yeah uh, Cooper looking for their second second straight place finish may try to one up that get a win get a third one of the season for k and k get three of the four k and k cars in victory lane I believe there is four in the field if I'm not mistaken there might just be three uh, he's gonna move him up a little higher this time he's able to evade the 29 of Nimrod for uh, for uh, uh, Dawn Patrol Motorsports uh, running third right now. They're racing really aggressive. And then Azrael Dreamer running for their own team. Look at how the really great run today in fourth. Let's see how it stays. Currently seven laps in. Oh, 83's into the wall. He's going to close these guys up a little bit, though. And blocks aggressively. 37 in the wall in the back, trying to gain speed. That is Clifton in the 17, but that's Monster in the 33. Monster, both those guys having a great run today who typically don't run up front. Uh, Monster running for, oh, and he's in the wall. He's in his rookie season for Dom Patrol Motorsports, which uh, teammate with Nimrod as we got a battle for the lead up here with the 30. Gonna try to take it here. And Cooper. It does, it does. So let's check our standings here. See how far back. Uh, and Vince Freeze has fallen back to the last place. Is the 83 into the wall? He's gonna slow up the 29 quite a bit. Oh, he's gonna lose a ton of time here in that 83 car. Really ate that wall up a ton. That's gonna give the 30 a huge lead. Unless Nimrod can catch Great. up. Some of their cars are loose. A lot, yeah. Oh. And we got a battle for a second. Ah, and 29's in the wall. Turns into a battle for third. 
49 is going to lose a lot of time. Eric Monaco out of nowhere and has climbed quite a few spots up to uh, appears to be could be going for seventh place here. Hey, I'll tell you one thing that one car is fast as hell. And usually not up front, I'll say this much, but they're currently in fourth, so it's all day. Oh, one car, or 51, hits it. Oh, saved it. See all the skid marks, that's from practice. So far, green this race in uh, almost uh, 11 laps in the 83, trying to figure out what he's wanting to do in that 83, as the 30 has uh, pretty much checked himself out right now. Unless he uh, slides up into that wall, he should be good. Brock Nelson, we don't talk about him much. Uh, inactive for... Oh, he hits the wall there. So is Eric Monaco. It allows a double zero to get past, but... Uh, we don't talk about him much. He's currently running up front, uh, doing very well. That uh, 51 car. Hey, Jack, can we go to that one car? One car of Noah Clifton. He is moving. Yeah, it loose into the wall. Him in the 33, he's gotten it a ton there. He's going to lose a ton of time. Was in third, about to fall back to that 33. As this run is going on, these cards are getting tight and they're getting more and more into that wall. A little concerning, I, I'll say that much. That 33 was not able to move to make the pass, but two uh, Dom Patrol Motorsports cars running fourth and fifth there. You see Nimrod with a great run today, along with Monster. Those, that team has not been very consistent. Their best driver right now is... 16 of Riley Gore says the one is in the wall again. Yeah. But uh, I do want to point out, I don't know if you noticed, there is two Bush cars that have snuck their way into the top 15. That uh, 98 of Kappa Kapperman has, uh, is catching up to that double zero. And he's currently the highest running part-time driver. Uh, I believe Victor Nunez. Still, oh, and we got a crash on the front straight. Big one. We are under yellow. Wow, that was some crazy timing. So Vic, I was going to check on Victor Nunez. We have a caution now. 71 of Batatnaha in the, in the m and M's Chevrolet for Don Patrol Runners. We were just talking about that team and how they've been running so good. And Riley Gorse, who's just a few 24 points above the cut line, hits the wall as well, along with Pox Kozar, who's just below. I think our best shot would be helicopter cam here. As Pox Kozar may have been... Pressing hard on the seven, the seventy. It's hard to say who causes this because they're almost going four wide. But let's see what happened here going slow mo. I I would have to say seventy one didn't give a lot of room, but at the same time, seventy two came down. There's just a lot trying to be avoided there that wasn't going to happen. Let's see seventy two nice. taps the wall, sixteen hard into the wall on the driver's side. Leave. Here comes hey, a nice. Yeah, somebody being, they're, they're hitting the wall. I get a report from the 4018 that there's a little bit of raindrops in the back straightaway. All right. So, so 97 hard into the 71. 19 involved. 20 with a little bit of damage. Uh, Melinda Jones. Yeah, Melinda Joe's going to hit hard. And the 06 of Zig Zagoon had a great start. Won't have a great finish. Uh, Frank Shulton, this could be big for the points lead. Got spun out into the 54. However, I don't, I don't think uh, Frank got a lot of damage. Oh, 66 got a lot of damage. So these guys are checking up at the same time trying to avoid the wreck. It's what's going to happen. 73 is involved. Ah, uh, Vince is involved. 45 is involved. Both the points leaders are involved. Matthew Hill. Uh, Vince Freeze did not need that. We'll go ahead and go back live. All right, so. Restart. Let's talk. Uh, we got to watch that 75 for a restart violation. That's the concern I have right now. Make sure we're not going green next time. Let's do, see if we can review damage. Hey, uh, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear him. I'm trying to cover other things right now. What the 48's trying to say, but... Uh, let's go back to the back of the field. The 97 of Sustre is out. So, LJ Toledo was also involved in that. 
accident um, heavy damage well to keep these guys on watch so the 90 45 97 and 99 have called it a day uh, and the so is the 11 events freeze our pulse sitter who had had terrible race and I think our points leader shred has also called it a race which if the I think at this rate would lead to the uh, four car if this were to finish may be able to take points lead. I, I, now again I say may uh, in a lot of circumstances that can happen the 06 still in 90 still in with very heavy damage will definitely wants to watch on disqualification and, and the four ain't out of it for disqualification either but uh, he didn't get a lot of damage from that I think the main concern right now is just to make sure that that 75 doesn't do, do a restart violation. I, I haven't seen this track do a lot for uh, restarts, so it is a little mild concern I do have. You got any more input, Reggie? Alright, so we're going to go to green flag this time. No choose cone, that's just a little thing they have for online racing. I'm back, I'm back. All right, you got any input before we go green? No. All right. So these guys are still on old tires, but they're going to be cooled down a little bit for the start. So I have no idea how they're going to do. I was just thinking. All right. So we still got an interesting top ten. Unfortunately, our pulse sitter Vince Freeze will not finish this one either. Had a pulse sitting position. We'll have some points to show for the race, but unfortunately, it will not be. A whole lot. It just went from bad to worse since from the start for him. Very unfortunate. Gotta be careful with that wall. So we gotta watch the 75 car. Make sure he don't re uh, have a restart violation. Be closely watching it from our helicopter. Uh, and again, car length ahead. From, uh, car length in between the two at the line is the rule. And that is clean. 75 to get a better start, but did not violate any rules on that on that start. The 30 may try to take it back. The one car is 71 with damage in the back may be a concern. We got we got too many laps left to. Uh, know for sure the full extent that 30 will hold front in the lead as uh, some cars still try to gain position oh and he's in the wall first time this, uh, in a run and yeah that'll allow the 73 to take the lead oh cars in the back wrecking the 48 the 55 cautions out Frank Chilton involved Four wide at their Darlington ain't gonna work. I think the 37 got in the wall and they're trying to avoid it. So let's go ahead and go and see what happened here. And I think the 75 took the lead at the line. Oh yeah, try to get in the 48, 48 into the wall hard. I think he'll have come out damage free, but the 307, four, fourth, a lot of damage. That may be a race center for them. Other than that, I think everyone's good. I think that'll save some guys from getting a DQ here. 77 still in it. I think everyone who was involved in that wreck is still in it, including Eric Monaco. Let's double check just in case. Uh, yeah, everyone who was in it is still in the race. The 73 is actually, I think, still in the race, surprisingly. Um, they're available for the lucky dog, too. So, which is good, because. Um, see Reggie Fogelman leaving the, leaving the call. There are two point leaders right here. This, the points lead gap is still 15 points. And if it were to finish like this, it would be 14 points. So, 7-3 is getting the lucky dog here with a lot of damage. Four car involved in that, of course. Um, I'm going to go to our pit road, or pit, pit road 1 cam real quick to turn on... Green white checkers. We're still on pit road one. So 
Uh, the double the 30 car of uh, Cooper fall back quite a bit there as Azrael Dreamer leading the first laps of their career here as the Darlington wall has been very uh, very uh, strenuous with most of these drivers and uh, noticing Nimrod has uh, come to uh, a very good agreement with the wall for uh, you know how hey, Nimrod is oh hey Jonah uh, commentating yeah, Darlington. Uh, yeah, we've had two cautions so far. First one was in, was caused uh, by four wide off of four. There's a lot of cars involved. Full Wait, list of DNA. Wide for, for what? For like mid pack. And then we had another four oh. wide situation that caused another caution for involved Frank Chilton. So uh, the three car, three car is a lap down. However. He was involved in that accident. Wait, hold on. He may not have been involved in that accident. Heck, okay. you know what? I'll just give him both a free pass because I don't know what's going on, to be real with you. I'll, I, where's the... Uh, okay, so 73, I think I'm going to have to call it a day for them. They're, they qualified too poorly. They will not be eligible to start the race. They will, they will not be eligible to continue, unfortunately. I'll have to manually remove them from the race. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry if I was late, um, Zach. Don't matter. Ah. Alright, so, almost, we're almost to 10 lap to go, Mark. Uh, 73 had to be mainly removed from the race due to, uh, having, due to too much damage. Uh, the three car will not be getting the free pass, because... I think they're involved in the wreck. Four cars still in. So we're going green this time. Lap 26 with 12 to go, if I'm not mistaken. I think that would be correct. Or ticker, I believe, would have an accurate representation, but I don't have access to that at the moment. And we do have uh, green on checkers on, so if there is a crash late in the race, we will have an overtime. We've only seen it a couple times, but let's see. Currently, uh, three rookies in the top five right now. He's like we're going back on green. I don't know why the double zero has rookie stripes. I think that was on me for giving him rookie stripes. That double zero is not a rookie. I don't know what I was thinking when making that car. See? All right, watch the 29 it's for a restart cool. violation here. This may be our last He's restart. Like He's like, we got 12 to go. Yep, 12 to go up the stripe. And we gotta add a lap for that last lap. Then we got two Bush hey, cars in the top 10. <laughs> Alright, watch that 29. Remember, car length in between. If there, if there was a car length in between them and the leader at the yeah. line, it's a, re, it's a violation. Yeah. Green flag is out. We're back on the way at Darlington. That is a very clean start. 33 with a very great start there on the bottom as well. I don't know why they'd be pushing the 75. That would be a protagonist move on the 29. As the 75 takes the lead off of two. They keep it clean. They kept it clean a lap last time too, but uh, after two laps, they were not successful in keeping it clean. It's a 33, a monster. Going to try to take it here on the bottom. 33 three is trying to pass the 75, but... But 75 made that lap, made it to the, made it to another um, lead lap. Oh no, he's, he's in, in the, the wall. wall. He didn't want that. Oh, oh into I the 30. 30 is oh, around. Yeah, wreck at the back stretch. Caution is already out. Yep, caution is out for a single car accident with the 30 of Cooper spinning or spinning out after the 75 hit the wall. We will have a new and leader at the line. And we're on 10 to go. Yeah, we're gonna be Nine. ten to go after the at least ten to go on this restart. This one weren't a roof cam view for sure. Go slow mo. So yeah, I mean this wall is so abrasive and you just nowhere to go. Trying mm -hmm. to slow up, couldn't got into the eighteen of Pat Miller. Or no, the eighty eight of Matt and V, my bad. Just spun out. Self spun. Uh -huh. Good job everyone else to avoid, uh -huh. especially the seventy two Aztec, love it. Yeah. Darling, 
Darlington is, my, is an interesting track. You have to go 150 in one corner and 140 on the other corner. Because there, cause there might be slip ups in um, turn one and two. And you'll get hit in the and you'll ha and you'll end up in the wall if you're not if you didn't time it right. That three car lost too much time on two laps to be still able to be in this race. Uh, I've seen how far back they were. Did they did not need? They don't need to be in this race anymore. Yeah. So, new leader, Monster Gonzalez, trying to get their first win. I believe. Uh, I don't know if they won any races last year, but they ran they had a champ four run. The rookie season got a new team this year. Then Space Guide, who's looking pretty good in points right now. Nimrod's still in the top five after falling back a couple spots. Brock Nelson's still up here, so is Nona Clifton. Michael Garrow up here as well in the top five, in the top ten rather. And then uh, fun, fun fact about um, Darlington: the back stretch was used to be the front stretch back in the day, and then the front stretch is the back stretch. So in present day, it's now the front stretch. The back stretch is. I mean, look, the front stretch is the back stretch, and then the back stretch is the front stretch. As oh. we're heading to turn three. Yep, a little fun fact from Jonah there. We're going to be going green next time, regardless of what the pace car says. And uh, again, just, uh, like, um, just like Atlanta, they. Like in. Like. Also like Atlanta. Their, their front stretch, their old front stretch was now the back stretch, and the back stretch is now the f um, front stretch, which is the, um, which is the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The, it's like, um, what was that front stretch called? The, the back, there. I, I don't know what you're trying to say, but we're going green this time. I mean, like, like it's like Dar Darlington and Atlanta have the same thing, but with, but with like um. Are you talking about a trioval? Yeah, trioval. Well, they don't have one now. So, if they did, yeah. Lots of double zero for violation here. No one's had one yet, so we're still gonna keep an eye on it just in case. As the pace goes back, up, back to the pits, and then the head to the restart zone. And green flag is now back up in the way at Darlington. As we got seven to go. Past two restarts, they've only been able to keep it green for two laps. Let's see if that trend is broken here. All you do is try to go low on the 33 the of a um, monster. Yep, 22. Space Guide looking for win number two for the season. Whereas uh, Monster is looking for win number one. And t I think top five number one. They have not had a very good season. 87 car was in the back there on the last up one. Let's see if they can. Oh, and the 33 is in the wall. Let's see if they can. Oh, double zero is in the wall too. Oh, so is the one. So three cars on the top of the wall. Let's see if they can keep that's, it clean. No, oh, 57. Oh, another wreck. Huh? Another wreck. This is just like North Wilkes Park. <laughs> they almost kept it clean. 97. Yeah. I think 98 rookie kind of caused that. The one as well. Let's kind of go helicopter to get a good idea. Probably from the uh, 25. He'd probably have a good view of this whole thing. Yeah. Of Caden Williams. So let's go slow motion here. So you see the one get. Oh, one. 57 got in the one. That's why that happened. All right. The one in the 57 saved it one hard in the wall. Actually, no, he didn't save it. 57 got in the wall. Right in front of the 17, 98 got spun a little bit, 17 got damaged, 46 Done. shooting through, nice save by Craig, uh, Pat Miller heavy damage, Melinda Jones, Anthony McClure, and the one car. Oh, on, on, nearly on the side of the one car. Oh, uh, it's caused a lot of cars to get involved, 07, 93, 85, 18, maybe the 20, 06. 55. Oh, the 90 is upside Someone's up. down. Someone's up. 
he gone upside down. Matthew Hill. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. If you if you did oh, time no. properly turn one, someone plowed in. A, that was the fifty-seven. Well, we got. And Frank Shelton involved. Both the points leaders just, will not finish. Just like from the um restart of um restart on seven to go, you gotta time it on time it per, time it perfectly on turn one. Go full speed here. A lot of these cars had already had damage pulling in. Victor Nunez like, a little bit of damage, but it's the big one. Yeah, of the, Darlington. Yeah. Oh man, the four plowed in, so fifty-seven is. I want to say nowhere to go, but that might just be an AI thing. So back to the leaders. I think it was the uh, I don't can't remember who it was to be honest with you. Was it was it 22? Oh, I guess the 22 smart. was successful in taking the lead off that last corner. Let's see, because I know he was. So this is. So we were up here when it happened. Oh yeah, now I remember the 33 got in the wall and that allowed the 22 to get back up front. All right, so now we're back to live. We should go green before the... Uh, the re we'll just go ahead and make it go time. green for a uh, two to go. Yeah. That way we're not, not having a last lap shootout. Though. Not overtime, though. Not overtime it's yet, no. If they can make it that last second lap, it'd be over. Watch these guys yeah. up front. We got a crazy up front lineup right now. A win for uh, Space Guy could be big, is uh, it, especially for is points it lead. Fourth? Is it the fourth caution or the fifth? We'll see. That would be the third, I think. No, he did the third one since. I'd have I to go. Like I'd have to go back and look. I just don't, I'm yeah. just not sure. So these. So, so far, a decently two. solid race. Just cars getting in the wall. Yeah, no way to fix that, cool. Starlington. All right, make sure that night at 29 doesn't restart, violate this restart. If they do, that would be catastrophic. Uh, especially seeing how good of a race they've had in that 29 car. Two Dawn Patrol cars. In, two Dawn Patrols in the top five, maybe three in the top ten. 16, unfortunately, uh, had, had to end the race. They're the highest in the standings. Could be our last Green restart. Flag is now, and we're back on the way. 29 keeps it clean. I mean, not, not even. One, not one car length. That's for sure. Yep. That's, getting, that's a good news. Brock Nelson. That'd be a crazy one for him if he won. There will be yeah. no more manual DNFs uh, unless it was uh, someone uh, that started 43rd or worse. Map 51 had a terrible turn lap. 3. We come to the final lap. Final lap. One to go. At All Darlington. right. It's official. Next lap's gonna end it. Does the 22 stay clean? No, he doesn't. In the wall. 22 oh. in the wall. Oh. Patrick Miller. Lap. What's he doing? What is Patrick Miller He's doing? Under the page. As we're coming out of the final two corners. Nimrod. The 29 of Nimrod. We're gonna win. Is first. Darlington Korea win. Nimrod will win their first win after a oh, pretty long wait and a lot of inconsistencies, but finally found victory lane. And Patrick Miller, I think, was one of those cars that started pretty far back along with the Tottenha, and he will call. Yeah, he will go ahead and call theirs. Page, everyone. Yeah, glad he didn't. Um, he just don't do it. Again. <laughs> If that happened, that means everyone will get mad at him on on the server. Yep. As they're about to go back around to go to the to head back pit lane. Yep. All right. Well, uh, top ten. I know you can only see half of it from the stream of uh, people watching. But uh, winner, Nimrod. Second place, Brock Nelson. I believe his first runner-up finish. Third place, Rabina Gonzalez. Uh, fourth place, uh, 22 of Space Guide, who almost won it, but unfortunately got in the wall on the, on the last lap. 
And then Matt MV with the top five, who could definitely use it. He was barely on the above the cut line. And then Monster, another good finish for him. Uh, top ten for three of the four Dawn Patrol cars, except for the highest one in standings. Uh, Michael Garrow, seventh. Eighth place is Azrael Dreamer. Ninth place is Byron Webb with one of the, not a, not many top fives. So definitely use that one. And then the 83 Thunder 24 fan, who is just above the cut line, could definitely use that good finish. Well, that race could have been better, but I think it was overall decent. Any last thoughts? Y'all got any final thoughts for the race? No, no, we're nope. good. Nope. Right. Well, we were able to finish full length without having an overtime. Almost had one, but I think we kept it clean. And uh, from Zekron 3 tv this is uh, Jonah Burridge, Reggie Fogelman. This is the NCCRS, and we will see you next week.